Hey, what's going on? Yeah, so these are some of the questions that uh, my smart, well-educated atheist friends always cannot answer for anything because they never thought about it. Now, let me ask you those same questions. Did you create yourself? And most people say, no, I didn't create myself. Then did your parents create you? Like they designed all your body parts and, and designed to make you a male or a female and things like that. And they're like, no, they just, they just bore you right and they just bored you okay now did their grandparents and parents and parents all the way up to the first adam and eve per se did they create you did they program and create you and no they didn't right now so what do you believe they believe no god and they believe in evolution so you believe in evolution um you get you believe you came from monkeys or something like that or some other animals that evolved into some other and these originally came from a small animal like a micro, microscopic germ or something like very simple organisms, right? And they, they this most people believe. And then where do these simple organisms <clears throat> that are more complex than any machinery in this world, where do they come from? Ultimately, you have to go back to water and dirt, minerals, okay? Water and minerals. Somehow in this mix, mixture, you have to believe that life just created itself out of here. And then you have to ask the question, wait a minute, where was the mind that thought of this? Accident? Mind has to come somewhere. Is there a brain in water and uh, atoms and molecules? There's no brain. There's no mind. There's no nothing in there. It's dead. There's no life in it. And, and you have to believe that somehow, by chance, by accident, that life just, oh, was birthed at all. Oh, a first breeding, living animal organism just somewhere, so something living got created by itself. You have to believe that. And this machinery or this life is much more complex than a computer, okay? You cannot even mimic it. It's so small and it's so, uh, it's, it's, it has an intelligent design and you have to think, well, where did this design come from? Nobody can answer. It's like, oh, well, I don't know, right? And you have to believe further on that there is this male and female and trees that bear seeds and fruits, right? So you have to think, well then this, did this germ, this, this germ, one day have to decide, you know what, I'm gonna separate and create a new being, and this new being is gonna be female, and I'm gonna have sex with it to procreate new babies, like with eggs or whatever, okay? And you have to be able to divide your body and have the ability to create and design woman parts, okay? And to create, even to change your own body to make sperm cells or seeds or whatever. And you have to perfectly create it to create new living creatures that are totally not you. You're not your father, okay? Your father is not you. Your father is not even your grandpa. Each have an individual own mind and it's different, okay? You're totally non don't care about, you know, most people don't care much about their grandparents, whatever. It's not, it's not like you are that person. It's a totally new, different person. You agree? Yeah. So, and you have to believe that all these things came by itself. And that is totally a belief. It's a religion. Atheism is a religion. You need, you need faith to believe in it. But God, in, believing in God is not crazy though, because God's like, God created all by his designs. And God in the Bible, this is what I believe, uh, created male and female and trees to bear fruits. And in the fruit, there was seed to generate a new life, to multiply and to procreate. Okay, this was the design of God. Okay, and then another question I'll ask, well, you know, there are many different languages in the world, like they say like 10,000 or more languages, and even many are disappeared because they conquered and conquered each other, big countries and became big countries. And in, even in China, like uh, like there's Shanghai city and Suzhou, it's very, very close, okay? It's about two hour distance. And uh, that language is totally different. And I'm Korean and next to Japan. And even Korea had like three different languages before, as far as the history goes. And uh, China has many, many hundreds of different languages as history goes before, and many got deleted. You have to see, hey, if we came from one organism like evolution, right? right where all these different languages that are totally different come from? For example, English was spoken in, in, in America. It was originally came from England. 
and for hundreds of years the language didn't change much at all right and i can understand uh, these languages because right you know you're born in it you learn it you can understand even languages of Eng english language spoken in england or in australia the words are same the pronunciation the words are very very similar and, and understandable and same but Cities that are so close to next to each other have a totally different languages. Not only one or two, but hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different languages around the world. Can evolution explain this? Of course it cannot. But Bible clearly says God divided the language so the people would spread all over the world because they didn't want to listen to God and, and spread over. They just wanted to create one city and they and Bible says it was one language at the time. But God confused their language because they were going against God creating this Babel Tower, um, you know, to reach the heavens, right? It was, God thought it was so foolish and God's like, you know, I'm just going to confuse your language. And confuse all the language and change all the languages of everybody. They couldn't understand each other, so they departed from one another. Okay? And, and that's, that's, that's what I believe, which is more scientific than evolution because, hey, you know, the, the words are not matching at all. Like, for example, in, in, in hello is English, right? But in Korean, it's 안녕하세요. And in, and in, uh, in Chinese, it's 니 hao. It's not even the same word for saying simple things like hello. It's not the same. Do you understand? Maybe there are some similar ones like mama, amma, whatever thing like baby language, right? But besides that, all the rest of the language is totally different. Like, like thank you, gonicha. Like, totally different. You understand? It's not the same at all. And even the same countries that live right next to each other, the people that live right next to each other, Language is totally different. I couldn't even understand a word. You know, like, I couldn't understand what they're saying. Anyway, these questions, if I, when I ask my friends, their response is, I don't know. And they're like, oh, wow, that's interesting. I didn't think about that. And I, and I ask, like, do you want to come to church? And do you want to know about God? And they were like, uh, most of them, they don't want to go to church and accept God. Because, you know what, believing in God, they think it's going to take away their freedom. Because when you believe in God, oh, now you got to read Bible, now you got to pray, now you got to seek God, and nobody want to do that. They just like to live in their pleasure. They just want to do whatever they want to do and don't want to be interrupted by nobody, not even their parents. They don't want to listen and submit to any authority unless they have to, like they submit to government and stuff like that. But that's because they have to or else they're going to get kicked out or die or have some serious consequences. But I'm telling you, there is a serious, serious consequences in rejecting God because when you die, I mean, all, everybody's going to die because you are made weak. You're not a strong, strong, strong person. You're weak. If a car hits you, you're going to die. If blood hits you, you can die. If disease hits you, people die. If you get old, you're going to die. And, and you're weak. And there's these consequences where one, one day, your spirit will leave the body. Uh, your body, your soul, spirit, whatever, you leave the body. The body's dead. But your spirit is going to be subjected onto the Creator. And the Creator God in the Bible says, if he, if he didn't serve him, he's like, I don't know, you cannot enter into this holy place because you're a sinner and a horrible person. You have sinned, you have lied, you have cheated, you didn't want God, you didn't serve me, I don't know you. Who are you? Get out. You go to where I send all the unbelievers of God into hell with the devil and, and the disobedient ones all in hell. And this is a huge risk for you to take, you know, not believing in God. There's a big consequence. Because you didn't create yourself. And God said, well, I created you. And I created you for a purpose, you know, to serve God and to love God and to love your brothers and sisters and your neighbor as yourself. But you didn't do anything for me. And when God says, what are you going to say? You're going to be speechless. You're going to have nothing to say. Well, oh, oh, I didn't know. Well, 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 is that going to work? Is that, it's not going to work. So you see, there's this huge consequences. And you need God because you're weak. And one day you're going to die. And it could be any day. Any day. Do you understand? Well, if somebody, you know, I don't know. Any day you can die. You need to know God. And you need to get to know God now. Before it's too late. So, I hope this helps you in your understanding. And see God, Jesus Christ, Father. I personally saw God. I'm a scientific person. You know, I saw God. And I can tell you, I met God. He's been proving himself to me so much, so much. I cannot deny at all. And I've seen heaven. And I saw angels. And I saw, and a lot of the people, when I tell them that they think I'm crazy or something. I'm not crazy. Okay, I just asked God daily for like two, three months and then God answered my prayers because I sought Him diligently. When you seek God diligently, put in the effort and work, God's going to come. 
Okay, just like the Bible, how these people had to seek God and they found God, I did the same thing. And it's so true. This Bible cannot lie. And God said in the Bible in Genesis chapter uh, 6 somewhere uh, that he limited man's age to 120 years. And who can change that? Can you extend your life over 120? If God said I'm going to limit it, you can't. You know, we're, we're, we're creation. We're not the creator. So don't act like God, you know. Humble yourself. Say like, man, I don't really know, man. I can die. Yeah, you can die any moment. You should be worried. Where are you, you going to go? Where are you going to go? Uh, you're going to really go into hellfire? Do you really want to go there? Uh, I'll, I'll believe that. Well, you're going to find out then. Because I, I found out that there is really hell. God's like, God, you said there is hell, man. Show me. And God literally showed me right on my face. So I'm here to tell you as a witness, okay, of knowing Jesus Christ. And it's much blessed because he loves you. He loves that he only gave, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sins so you can be cleansed and enter into the kingdom of heaven. Understand? So I hope you take my advice seriously. And Lord God bless you and open your eyes.